Alright, what's up y'all? I don't know, Braxy here coming to you live in the middle of the Eagles land. So uh family, today I'm gonna show you something that you really really need. Uh, thanks. Shit, if you are a repat from America, then um this is uh, a must have. It's like you don't even you don't even think like you don't even f around when it comes to uh, uh, what I'm about to uh, show you. This is like this right here is a must have. Like don't even f around. Like, you gotta have this. Uh, I bought three of these. Uh, the one that I'm showing you is uh, the 3,000 watt, uh, 3,000 watts, and uh, this is a step down. This is a step down, and um, anybody moving to the continent from America must have this tool. Anybody, like everybody, like anyone, anyone moving to the continent from America. I don't know about every other place. Like I don't know about you know. I think Canada too. Anybody moving from Canada to Africa need to have a, a step down. Uh, why? Because. Uh, our electricity in America runs on 110 volt and the electricity from uh, the rest of the world or um, uh, many parts of the world runs at 220 volt so if you bought uh, an equipment that goes in through uh, power you know, that has to go through an outlet if you brought if you bought uh, uh, a TV or whatever whatever it is from America and uh, plugged it into any type of outlet in most countries if not all in Africa what would happen is it's gonna blow up it's gonna go poof and you're gonna smell uh, the burning and you know that uh, you can't use that TV no more you can't use that refrigerator no more you can't use that uh, uh, blender no more you can't use that uh, clipper no more you can't use your tripper or your trimmer no more. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. So, to avoid smelling that smell before, buy, before anything, before buying your plane ticket, get you a step down get your step down those range from 300 watts all the way to 5,000 watts I got me a 5,000 watts the 5,000 watts is downstairs in the basement I'm what I'm gonna show you today is the 3,000 watts and the 3,000 watts is just what an average uh, repat moving to Africa needs because most of our TVs are less than 300 watts your refrigerator is about it's about 5 to it's about 5 to 1000 watts your blender like the one I have uh, it's a ninja. My blender is uh, a, a fifteen hundred watts. 
your AC your AC is about 15 to 2000 watts some AC are less than that so having a 3000 watt step down is sufficient for most people from America uh, that are visiting or staying in Africa 3000 watt is sufficient 5000 is better uh, I don't see many people buying air conditioner to take to Africa like I don't see many people do that people would just buy their air conditioner their air conditioner in Africa and most people will buy their fridge uh, in Africa like I don't see many people buying their fridge in America and bringing them to Africa most people will buy their fridge uh, in Africa while they are already in Africa but if you are shipping a container and in, inside the container you uh, have your fridge in it then you definitely need a step down because if you put if you plugged your refrigerator straight into an outlet in Africa without a step down machine it will blow up it will blow up your fridge won't last five minutes it's gonna be a minute and a half at best before the fuse blows before it goes poof and you will smell that thing you don't want to smell that you don't want to smell that so you are going to smell that and that's it that t that that fridge that refrigerator that you spend so much money uh bringing to Africa only lasted like a minute and a half while in Africa you don't want that so get you a step down i got one from light fuse I got one from light fuse and uh, this is it right here I got uh, a few of them but I, I bought them all from light fuse so this is what goes into the wall from so this goes like this right here goes into the wall so this is what you will put an adapter you will put an adapter here so it will so that uh it can fit into uh an outlet in Africa. You now depending on where you're going, you will find an adapter uh add that adapter onto this wire and then plug that into the outlet of uh the type of outlet that goes into um uh, the the country where you are going to be uh, moving into so I picked this one to show you it's heavy you just uh, uh, remember that uh, when uh, playing with this uh, remember that it's heavy this is it's really heavy so here's a step down this thing is just about like 25 pounds it's very heavy it's heavy you could travel with this you could put it in you could put it in your you could put it in your suitcase uh, if you were to travel with it if you uh, had to uh, take it into uh, a container then you know you just put it in a container and it'll get there or get to Africa but these are this is like a must-have to anyone moving to Africa must have because then you could plug uh, your TV and you know TV fridge AC and all of that and this is where you will plug in this is where you would plug your um, 110 volt unit and if you wanted to uh, uh, play with uh, 100 and 240 then you would plug them into those uh, outlet but 
this is where you would plug all your American made uh, uh, equipments you would plug them in here and the max power is 3000 watts I have five, I have two 3000 watts and I have one 5000 watts I already have two 2000 watts in Africa right now as we speak like I had them I, 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 I bought them I brought them to Africa like about a year ago like a couple of years ago like now one I brought one last year it was it last year or was it before I mean before the pandemic I brought one like when the pandemic started that was like it was it 2019 or 2020 I don't even remember like I don't remember the date like living in in the jungle where I live we don't pay attention to dates like nobody like we don't pay attention to time we just leave we, we like when when I'm there I'm just leaving so I'm still living like I'm in Africa where I don't I don't keep track of time because in Africa you just leave like you don't keep track of time time doesn't mean uh, H in Africa time doesn't mean nothing like nobody wears a watch name you know in Africa because people don't people don't people don't live through uh, time time live through people right? you know so I don't remember but I think the pandemic hit in March 2019 I'm, I'm trying to think that it was March 2019. I'm, I'm thinking it's March 2019. So the pandemic happened in March 2019. And I left for Africa right when the borders were open in June. I left. And I got me my last one was 2,000 watts. It's the last one that I brought, I brought, to, I brought to Africa. And... And I had one from before, so I got two two thousand watts that are already in Africa, and now I'm about to bring three more, so I'm gonna have five more, uh, meaning that uh, I could run uh, or I could buy all kinds of uh, utilities stuff in America and take them in Africa. So I got a. Uh, I also have a. Uh, the AC unit uh, that I'm taking to Africa. I'm taking a refrigerator to Africa. So having these is a plus for me. So I bought um the way it's gonna the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna have the electricity coming from uh, uh, the grid in Africa from you know the, so the electricity coming from the grid is we're gonna plug this into uh, the electricity coming from the grid. I'm talking about the house that I'm going, the house that I'm going to build in the city. I'm gonna have uh, uh, this go into so the 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 electricity coming from the grid. This is going to go into the electricity going into the coming. Uh, this is gonna go into the electricity coming from the grid so I'm gonna plug it here from in the back of uh, the in the back of the tool Let's plug it in the back of the tool uh, put the uh, put it on put the machine on so this is the back of uh, the the step down so this is where that wire is gonna go this wire is gonna go here in the back and I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna have the uh, even open. So everything that uh, that happened, so I can show you some more. So there we go. So there we go. So not easy. All right. So I didn't think the tip would come out, but it did. And thank you, thank God. So this wire would um this wire right here 
is going to go here and it's going to go I'm going to plug this inside the grid and then I'm going to turn this on nice on off on off so I'm going to turn it on right and once it's uh, turned on what's going to happen is the house the way I'm going to wire my house so the way I'm going to wire my house the main wire that feeds the whole house where you know the main wire I'm talking about the 5000 watts I'm not going to plug uh, the 3000 the 3000 watt is going to be on standby like in case something happens then I'm going to switch it but these things last they they do because I had one, the first one that I ever bought to Africa, uh, the first one that I ever uh, ever brought into Africa, that one has been there for almost, you know, almost 10 years, and there's no problem with it. So, uh, let me show you what I'm Just dig a little hole. So this is what's gonna happen. The wire that goes, the wire that goes into the the main wire that's gonna feed the whole house. This is where I'm gonna plug this thing. The main wire. So the main wire that's gonna feed the whole house. Let me show you better so you can see it better. So the main wire is going to go in here, it's going to go in here, you know, and I got a, uh, um, like, um, so the main wire is going to go into this plug, the main wire that's going to feed uh, my whole house, because like I said, like, I will build a house in, in the city, uh, and the main wire from the house is gonna go through here it's gonna go through here in this hole right here and then 